Hey guys, so I'm assuming most of you know that I went to IMATS, which is the International Makeup Artist Trade Show, and I went in Los Angeles. And it was so, so, so crazy fun. And one of the best parts of that, aside from like meeting all of you, which is freaking awesome, I got to go shopping. <laughs> yeah, which I love. And I've been saving for a freaking long time. So, yeah. And what the most awesome thing is, is there's discounts. Like 40% off on most of these items. The lowest, like, discount off was 20%. 20% off like that's like a CCO but most of the places that I got stuff from was 40% off and I was like hot damn so um I did a little bit of damage I went Saturday and Sunday so this is mostly from Saturday which is surprising but um I did a little something too and it's a heavy bag and this is what the IMATS bag looks like and I think it's so cute and um this is the art of beauty on it and um I don't know so it is filled to the brim of stuff and I'm going to show you what I so on Friday, me, Casey, Caitlin, and Sarah went shopping, and I got <laughs> did a little damage at Sephora. I literally got three things, mm -hmm. but I mean, it totaled to be, oh, text message from Sarah. Um, but it totaled to be a little more than I wanted to spend on three items, but I've been wanting them for a while, so I justified it. And first I got a Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush, which I have been wanting for freaking ever. And this one is in Amused, and it is just this really pretty, Barbie Barbie pink color. I'm so excited to wear this. I don't have a blush that's this color. I really don't. And they feel really, really, really like nice between your fingers. I'm so excited. So excited to try this. Next, I got some NARS. I got the NARS blush in cactus flower, which I have been wanting forever. And if you guys saw, I did it's in my like wish list blog post and it has been on like a little wish list on my computer forever. So there is the name Cactus Flower, and it's just seriously just a red with gold shimmer. It is so pretty. It's a cream blush, which I love. Cream blushes are probably like my favorite kind of blushes. The last thing I got is also from NARS, and it is an eyeshadow duo. It's the only eyeshadow duo I own, own from NARS, and it is in Alejandra, which is a very well-known shade because it's very neutral, which I think was best for my first NARS duo. Oh, it's not a thing. Okay. And there it is. Oh my god, so pretty. This is like a champagne -y pink color, and this is like a golden um, natural color. And both of them are really neutral, really light, perfect for lid colors. But if you're going for a really neutral look, you could use like the more goldy color in the crease. So after we went to Sephora, we went to MAC, and I only got one thing. And so be crazy proud of me. And it is the lipstick in Cockney, which I love the name, to be totally honest. And, um... I love this. I really wanted a perfect red, and the MAC lady was helping me try ones on, and this one looked so freaking good. Not to toot my own horn, but it's just a bright red, and what I like about this is it's a glaze, so where it is gives off a true red color. It has a little bit of shimmer, and it makes it have it more of like a glossy finish as opposed to a matte finish, but eventually I will get a matte red lipstick just because I feel like it's, it's a mess. It's a necessity. One of the first thing I got at IMAS were brushes, and I got these ones from Crown Brushes, and this is the C404 Small Duo Fiber Brush, like face brush, and it's like a, just like a mini duo fiber. This one doesn't have a name on it, but it's basically like just a tapered um, blush brush. I got an angled eyeliner brush. Casey swears by these, and so I was like, you know what, if I'm gonna try liquid line, I mean gel liner to be fantabulous, then I gotta try one of the little angled brushes. So, so I got another little angled brush another crease brush just because I I'm really lazy when it comes to washing my brushes and I'd like to have to wash them less often because if I just have more then I can use them more often because different brushes I don't really know what I'm saying so also from crown brushes I got a brush roll which I really wanted and I never could justify spending like 30 bucks on it or 40 bucks and this is only 15 dollars and it is holds 15 brushes and it'll be perfect for travel because as of now I've just been putting them in the cases like the little um plastic like shapers or whatever and then I haven't been putting them in a case and I just put them in my makeup bag which I don't like. Um, I just, I'm like protecting my brushes and this is going to protect them a lot more. So next Royal Lang Nickel saw that I had a press pass and asked me how many subscribers I had and they gave me a brush set. Like excuse me? Um, <laughs> yeah. I seriously love this. Sarah and I were, <laughs> were sitting in our room afterwards and they're really just like touching it. Like there's Alexa asleep on the freaking bed and we're like touching these and they're so incredibly soft and just like this amazing, amazing brushes and I'm so excited to use these. You're gonna see these in lots of videos coming out. So at the VIP room or whatever, if you have a press pass or whatever, they gave you a goodie bag and in this goodie bag was this Napoleon Purtis palette, which is amazing. It's got an eyeshadow quad and a blush duo and a really, really pretty lip gloss, which I'm actually wearing right now. It's like a nice coral pink color I like it and this was it's like such a nice gift like I was like all surprised and stuff and I was like dang this was nice then on top of that as I was walking by the booth one of the women were just like one of the women who worked there was like here take this like oh my gosh just tell, me if you, tell me if you like it and it's this crazy crazy glitter gloss 
and it's white and it's got so much glitter and shimmer in it and I'm terrified of lip gloss but these smell so good that it kind of makes you just want to wear them oh my god and I'm and they're not sticky so I've been like enjoying wearing this one which is really out of character for me but um you know I must kind of made me a lip gloss person it kind of did just because everyone was wearing it so it made me want to wear it and so I did to fit in <laughs> I'm a follower I know so one of the things I for sure wanted to get at IMATS was the beauty blender and I did and this was like $12 which was awesome like I, I freaking love it and it's basically like a sponge it's so freaking hot pink it's like a sponge it's so squishy and <laughs> spongy and you get it damp and you wring it out so it's just hardly damp at all and you use it to blend in your foundation and Casey texted me this morning told me she used it and said it was flawless so maybe and um, tell me down below if you want an updated foundation routine featuring this little thing also from Royal and Lang Nickel wow that is a tongue twister it also gave us like a do double ended thing. It's got a, I don't know. Oh, it's a brow lash brush. So the side is to fill in your brows and this side is to brush. So if you guys didn't know, China Glaze is my all time favorite nail polish brand. Seriously, I'm obsessed with it. It's my favorite kind. And um, I saw at the Ardell booth that they had a China Glaze section. I was like, oh snap. And I was like, how much are these? And they were like, oh, two bucks each. And I was like, shut the front door. This shoe was not getting on trace design. So I got two polishes. Like granted there was like hardly any selection at all, but I really wanted this anyway, which was liquid leather. And it is just a black polish. I don't have any black polishes. So I'm excited for that. And the next one is a crackle polish, which I've never really been into. I was never into the black crackle nail polish just cause for me, if I'm going to wear black nails. I want it to be solid black nails, just dark emo nails. Sorry if that offended any of you. Um, <laughs> and, um, but I saw on tip Tilly that she did swatches of like the Colorful cracker nails, like the sparkly ones. It's like, damn, that's pretty. And that's something I would more go for because I typically like plain nails, but I think I can handle this. And this one is in oat metal. And it is a shimmery, mauvey pink color. And I cannot wait to try this out. Brand said I was having like a little thing that had a free things in it, and um, Sarah didn't want anything, so I got a lip gloss and a lipstick. And um, the lip gloss is a really strange, dark, dark color. Um, and it's called Molten. 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 And the lipstick is like in a sparkly orange color. And I put it on today. It basically just makes your lips shimmery. Which, <laughs> drop it. Which I guess is cool. I mean, it's free. I liked it. As I was walking through IMAX, this girl was passing them out. She was one of the Glamour Doll Girls. And it's this lip gloss that is like a crazy purpley pink color. It's so pretty. Sigma has little sample things. They had a sample of their eyeshadows, which are in this little container and Sigma's coming out with eyeshadows everyone so it's tiny little things but they're so cute it's like a red a light brown and a teal and the owner of Sigma freaking recognized me and I died so hi and um she gave me two of these little sample brushes so they're a free gift to you and they're just two little blending brushes super cute so on Sunday when it was less crowded, we had more downtime. Sarah and I actually got to go to basically every single booth and just look around. And we ran into one that's called Second Love. And I'd never heard of it before. I'd never even like heard of it as in like someone like said like, oh, it's an exclusive IMAP thing. I just never heard of it at all. And we were like, hey, let's try them out. This is cute. We'll swatch them, stuff like that. And I got this blush, which is probably the prettiest blush I've seen in a very long time. And it is so gorgeous. Oh my freaking God. And it is in, it's a marble blush in sunshine. It is so pretty, and I seriously, I love these products. I highly recommend them. They've got a website, I think, if they not, don't sell them in stores, but they're so pretty, and they had these mineralized, um, like, highlighter things that look like mineralized skin finishes, and they were so much cheaper, and Sarah got one, and it was so cute, and I was so tempted to get one, but it was Sunday, and I was broke, it's ass, and I freaking love those products, and I can't wait to get more, because they're fantastic. I blame Sarah and Allie for my damage at NYX considering they went back like nine freaking times and I kept going back and getting more and more stuff. So the first eyeshadow I got is in Spring Flower and it is this super pretty shimmery light dark like lilacish color. Is it Princess Pink? Because I'm a princess. And it's just a light shimmery pink color. I got is in guess what black because I don't have a matte black color is that surprising or not and it's just a matte black with no shimmer in case you recommend this to me because when we were at MAC the day before um I had been like oh I want to like get carbon like is it really necessary and she's like no try the next one so much cheaper and there'll be an eye mask. so I was like oh, good idea Casey so thank you Casey I got two lip liners the first one is in edge pink and it's just a like a dark berry like magenta pink color and then I got this one, which is in nude pink, which is just a very light nudish pink color. I guess I'm just going by the name. I got two blushes. One is a powder blush, and this is in pinky, which is just a really pretty blue-based pink, which I don't have anything like this. 
I love it. Got a cream blush in Glow, which is just a really, it's another like very blue based cream blush in Next thing I got were two glitter liners, which I really want for a while, but honestly, I had a really hard time justifying spending a lot of money on something, or not even a lot of money, just full price on something that I know I'm not going to wear or get a ton of use out of. So this is like the perfect excuse to get glitter. This is in Fresh Champagne, and this one is in Disco Queen, and this one is just, Disco Queen is basically this crazy um, color. There's like pinks and greens and yellows. Every glitter color imaginable is in this. It is crazy gorgeous. And then this one is just a basic bright gold. So as you guys know from my last favorites video, I'm completely obsessed with my Bobbi Brown gel liner. And mine, the one I have is in Thunderstorm, which I got from a CCO. So it's like a, it's like a slate dark gray color with a little bit of shimmer in it. And I wanted to get the black one. And this one is in, obviously, black ink. And this was discounted too, 40%. So whatever the full price is, like 40%, that's how much it costs. And it's just a black color, which is gonna be perfect with the little angle, the blush, brush, not blush, brush I bought. So the place I think I did the most damage with at was Stila, and just because it was 40% off. Honestly, like I never tried anything from Stila before and their entire selection was so good and it was so cheap and I could not pass it up and yeah. So first I got a bronzer and this one is in shade two. And like, let's be honest, you'd think I'd go to shade one cause I'm not that dark. And I'm, I'm, I'm like decently tan if you see me in person, but I'm not like crazy dark. But this one I really like because it's not that sheer. I mean, it's that, it's sheer. It's sheer, which I like. Whereas the other one was very sheer, but it was also very light. So having a very darker bronzer, but in a sheer color is super nice. This has a little bit of shimmer in it, which I like. And it reminds me a little bit of Laguna. And I still can't justify spending all that much on a bronzer, but this is a nice shade to try. So maybe if I like. So when I watched the IMAX New York haul, like all those people, they all got like convertible colors. Um, and I like wanted one for a really long time and I picked a very surprising shade, but the woman there was like, wow, this is gonna look so great on your skin tone. And I'm really big into corals and oranges, as you know, and I got like a legit orange one and it's so pretty. And this one is in Gladiola. Matches my nails, my nails. Open sesame, buddy. And this is the color. It's just a bright, bright orange. But the best part is, is it blends really nicely. And it blends to give you like a very sheer coral color, which I love orangey, how orangey looks on my skin tone. So next I got the Stila Prime Pot. And this is in caramel, car caramel. Why do I say caramel? Caramel. Caramel. I say it like caramel. I don't know why I'm trying to fool you. And it's basically just like a skin color. Um, it's basically the same. Basically, basically, basically. It's the same concept of um, Painterly from MAC but it was cheap and it was there, so I bought it. So in that same category, I got a smudge pot in, guess what, now you guys tell already. I got it in Kitten, which is their most coveted shade, it is the most popular shade, and it is so freaking pretty. It reminds me of Grand Entrance by MAC, um, which is discontinued color, so if you're looking for that, try that. Try this, and it's so pretty. It's like a paint pot, and there's no MAC paint pot equivalent to this, and it's just a champagne-y color, and it's so freaking pretty and I love it. You can use it as a base for eyeshadows and you can use it just as a cream eyeshadow on its own. I'm obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with lip stains and so I got the Stila um, Lip and Cheek Stain in Mango Crush which comes off as like a peachy, corally orange color which I love. And then I got the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner and this is in Stingray and it's just a matte black color. And so the last thing I got from Stila is probably the thing I'm most excited about and the thing I love the most, and it is their Sparkle Waterproof Liquid Liner, and this is an electric, which is basically this gorgeous, gorgeous teal color. It's coming off a lot more blue, but it's a really like true teal, and it's so pretty, and it's sparkly, and really like, it gives a really nice opaque lip line, and I love it, and I can't wait to do like a pop of color to try with that, because it's so pretty. I'm honestly so content with my purchases and because I'm sorry I don't know the exact prices of all of these things I think in total I spent $275 um, but that's in junction with what I bought at Sephora which obviously wasn't discount I spent like 91 bucks at Sephora and then I spent like I guess technically around like 180 at 185 at IMAX which is insane for all this stuff $185 are you freaking kidding me so I'm super excited I'm thrilled IMAX was so much fun and if you guys have pictures with me at IMAX Please, 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 please email them to meganrosa at gmail.com because you can be, and tell me your username or your channel, like put it in your channel link so I can put that in the video too. So, um, cause I want to make a little like collage thing and video of all the people I met at IMAX. And it was so crazy nice to meet all of you guys and it freaked me out. It literally freaked me out. Like I had no idea that many people watched me. So speaking of awesome subscribers, this adorable, adorable subscriber made me and the girls I was with 
earrings. And look at this little package. It's so freaking cute. But she gave us earrings, you guys. She gave us earrings. And they're so cute. And it says favorite guru and silver sparkly sharpie. And they're feathers. Like, that's so me. Like, it's so freaking me. And it says, thanks for being an amazing guru, XOXO Tara. And her username is Tara Beauty XO. So go check her out because she's so freaking sweet. And I, I died. Like, the fact that someone actually gave me a gift, which is completely unnecessary, but it's just such a, it's such a sweet thing to do. So on Friday when we were shopping, my feet were killing me because I was wearing wedges. So I went to Forever Week 21 and bought these shoes. And they were $6, $15, $80. And they're super cute. They're in size 10. So they're one size too small, but they fit fine. And they're these um, brown sandals with like turquoise little beads on them. And they're not like the Forever 21 brand. They're the brand Bonnel... I can't read cursive. <laughs> That's difficult. But they're out there. Bonnel 3 x and I were like super into it. And so we saw they were selling like feather, like larger feather clip-in extensions at IMATS. So we each got one. I know. I corrupted Little Miss Classic style, conservative style Sarah into getting a freaking feather. I know, California's rubbing off on her. And this is what mine looks like. And it has like hair on it, obviously not real hair. It's just like blonde hair with these like feathers going down and like these beads. And so obviously I'm not that blonde. <laughs> I'm, I'm not that blonde. But in real life, in my camera it's showing like a way, way, way bigger contrast than it is in real life. My camera does not make me look blonde. Like I'm blonde, you guys. If you saw me in person or you see me in pictures or you look in Sarah's vlog, that's what I actually look like. This makes me look freaking dark. Um, and so you can just take it and you clip it in your hair and okay yeah this looks like I'm colorblind my camera is colorblind but it blends in nicely it actually does blend in nicely and it's got big feathers and chunky beads on it so I really like it. it's very pocahontas -y. Comment down below if you want a review or a tutorial featuring any of these products because I am super excited with everything I got and I went a little makeup crazy so granted I'm probably not going to be getting makeup for a while but I mean I'm excited.